Kensington Palace done goofed up now because guess what? CNN, the cable news network, has just announced that they are investigating all photos from Kensington Palace, meaning they're going back in them archives to see for how long William and Kate have been doctoring photos to the extreme. So let's take a look at this article that they just published. It's actually a rather wonderful article that I do urge you guys to check out if you've got a moment. The article is entitled, Kate's photo should have quelled the rumors. Editing it has done exactly the opposite. And it was written by Lauren Saeed Morehouse and Max Foster. At the top of the article, they talk about the scandalous photo that Kensington Palace released that is purported to be of Kate Middleton with her children, Louis, George, and Charlotte. But again, that image was so chopped, screwed, edited, and just messed up that the Associated Press, the AFP, and the French National Press all put out an alert, an emergency alert, calling for people to take it down because God knows what was actually in that photo because it's not at all what um, Kensington Palace wants to represent it as. In fact, the press went to William and Kate's team in Kensington Palace and said, okay, this, this photo is just not it. Can you at least give us the source file so that we know that it was actually taken on the date that you guys are claiming? Because when you published it, you said that it was taken last week by Prince William, okay? So let's at least see that. And Kensington Palace said, no way, no way. We're not giving you a stitch of information. And that is when the alert came out, okay? So now CNN is saying that they are reviewing all handout photos previously provided by Kensington Palace. In editorial photography, photojournalists and editors commonly adjust a photograph's exposure or color balance in order to more accurately reflect the scene. Most news organizations, including CNN, regard it as unacceptable to move change or manipulate the pixels of an image to do so would alter the reality of the situation the image is intended to document and i just want to urge you guys to take a look at how serious that last sentence is to do so would alter the reality of the situation the in image is intended to document they're quite literally saying that kensington palace um did not document reality at all in that photo of Kate with her kids. We don't know what that photo was truly of before all of these people and these random hands, you know, uh, got photoshopped into the thing, right? And that is a rather scary thing. If they're willing to lie to this level of extreme to get this photo out there, what else are they willing to lie about? You know, Kate's health, for example, King Charles's health, what else are they lying about? Because it's all so scary. Kate's we're about to even, you know, maybe she's in good health, but you know, she's just not what they say she is. I don't know. So when they talk about needing to go back into the archive to see the other photos, I think the Christmas photo is going to be one of the first ones that come out there because there was a lot of chatter about that Christmas photo. They said that Prince Louis had an extra finger and it was just like a mess there too. Honestly, you guys, I don't really care for this excuse of, oh, these kids are so young. They can't all smile for one photo at the same time. I don't think it's true. Like I said in my other video, you can get a class of 20 third graders to all smile properly. Why can't three royal children aged 10, 8, and 5 smile for one photo, you know? Like, it's just, to me, it's not possible. It's not, it's really not, to be honest with you. Kids, they're not, they're not stupid. You know, if you tell them to smile, you put up a damn plushie if you need to for the five-year-old, they'll smile. Like, and it's only three of them. And again, these are royal children who go through um, prince and princess school, academy, whatever you want to call it, from like as early as possible. So they are taught to be very obedient and well behaved. So I think that it is possible for these kids to all smile for a photo. In my family, we've always done it, you know, and we're four, um, you know, and then my siblings with their kids, my sister with her son and stuff, he smiles perfectly fine for a photo. So stop. You know, I, I really don't like ex that excuse and I don't buy it. But aside from the Christmas photo, I also think that they are going to call into question the photo of Kate Middleton and her mother in the car. Remember that one where it's very clear that the woman in that photo was wearing a wig and a synthetic wig, might I add, and she's missing Kate's signature mole. People have pointed out that there are five car wheels in total when normally cars have four. And, and there's also that new photo that just dropped of the back of Kate's head in that car with William. Now people are saying that, wait a minute, it looks like they actually dragged and dropped 
Kate's head from another engagement that they did. And this wasn't even in 2023. This was back in the day. I think they said it was 2016. I just did a video about this, so I should have it in my mind, but I don't. But definitely check out that video if you haven't already. But that's an even older photo. I'm thinking eight years here. So like, this is going to be a very interesting expose. I hope that they're very open and honest about what they see and what they find. I hope that Kensington Palace doesn't manage to intimidate them the way that they typically intimidate journalists who get too close to uncovering the truth about these royals. Typically what happens when a journalist puts out a very interesting and a very like kind of um, breaking story about the royals that's not flattering and butt kissing, the, their respective houses, so either Buckingham Palace or maybe Kensington Palace, will go and try to intimidate these journalists into taking down these stories. So they'll either say, we'll sue you, or they'll say, you know, take this down and I'll give you a story about this other person. They each sell each other out. So who knows if that's something that they're going to try to do with CNN in order to get these stories pulled before they even make it to air. So let's continue on with the article, right? CNN went on to say that in the past, the family's amateur photographs have been well received when posted on social media. But on this occasion, this photo was also released to media organizations as a handout and the palace wasn't transparent about the fact it had been adjusted. That will have damaged the trust between the palace and media organizations, many of which, like CNN, will likely be assessing all royal handouts. The editing storm has undermined the existing relationship, and when public interest over any possible of cover-up escalates, as it has done recently, many news outlets will now have to take that speculation more seriously. Thank you, CNN. Thank you for being out there trying to get the truth. We all know that the British press is in a bootlicking competition where they're not asking proper questions or doing their due diligence to get us the information that we need and deserve and pay for as members of the con Commonwealth. It's a shame that an outside organization from America has to do the job of the British press, of the Canadian press, of the Australian press, of any press of any Commonwealth country. All of our countries should be ashamed of themselves for not doing their job in this instance. I, for one, cannot wait to read their expose, and you guys already know that I will be sharing it with you as soon as it comes out. So if you haven't already, do make sure to subscribe to my channel. And in the meantime, while we wait for the major expose to come up, let me know your thoughts and opinion about this story. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.